What's happening everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. We'll be reacting to Honest Trailers Halloween 1978. I saw this I think I'm getting my movie I'm getting my videos mixed up. I saw this came out. I really liked the original Halloween. It it sticks with me because I was how horrified I was of it. Like, I think I've said this in a video before. I was so scared of this tr of this whole premise, this movie, that when the trailers used to come on, so I think when, I want to say Halloween H2O was coming out, they would do this, and then when Halloween would come around anyway, they would uh, have like a Halloween movie themed trailer for like candy or whatever they were uh, merchandising. And it, it literally made me run out of a room. Like because I did, I did, and I cover my ears because I didn't want to hear the music, like that. Halloween and Candyman had that effect on me, and of course I think I turned nine and then I got over it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and, I, and I love these movies now. I, I watched Halloween yesterday. I, I watched Halloween and uh, Halloween Two and Halloween Resurrection. I don't care what anybody says. Halloween Resurrection is good as a comedy. It is a good, <laughs> it's stupid as a Halloween slasher film. It is awesome as a Halloween. Like, like almost think of it as like a parody, even though they were trying to be funny. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, trying to be serious. So, and the movie is taking itself seriously. So, I guess it kind of takes you out and of thinking like it's. It's funny, but still, if you think of it as a parody, oh my god, like that movie is hilarious. Buster Rhymes was perfect for that. I don't care what anybody says, but anyway, let's let's go ahead and get it. I've been talking damn two minutes, went by quick. Like, <laughs> and, uh, honest trailers, Halloween. Here we go. He looks so much creepier, like a pervert with his hand on a tree like that. First I rip your clothes off, then you rip my clothes off, then we rip Lindsay's But they're teenagers, of course they're horny. Uh, I know you're joking, but Lindsay's a child. Oh, that was Lindsay? I thought... Oh, yeah, her name's not Lindsay. Shit. And he's inventing or cementing every slasher cliche we'll get for the next 40 years. Like wearing a creepy mask, yeah. making spooky yeah. phone calls, oh, and that only targeting one. suburban teenagers, only letting the final virgin girl survive, <laughs> and eating dogs. Six out of marriage is bad. Sorry, what's that? Myers the only one who actually eats a dog? Probably for the best. Before Jamie Lee Curtis. I thought, didn't Jason eat a dog or psycho? Oh, yeah, I forgot that was her mom. Your screen princess. Watch her goody two shoes, Lori, try to survive the night with her friend Annie, an a hole. Oh, yeah, she's kind of a bitch. And Linda, star of the drinking game. Take a shot every time Linda says totally. totally. No, you would be totally. dead if you try to do that. Totally. Totally the best Halloween ever, you guys. You're totally the Linda best. <laughs> what? How to Kill This Babysitter's Club is Michael Myers, one of cinema's most iconic mouth breathers. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> the old fashioned way, standing in clear view. Yeah, that's Some scary. That's scary when you when somebody when they just stand out like that in daytime. That's why this scared me so much because this dude's not afraid at night. Like he'd be out in the day. I mean, not afraid at night, but he's he's not out just during nighttime. He's out in the daytime as well. Yeah, 
These guys super speed. by the film's real Frankenstein, Rubens, a psychiatrist with a very loose grasp of psychiatry. Well, it was a 70s. And then another seven tried to keep him locked up. Who doesn't exactly follow the Hippocratic Oath? I always thought he shot him in the head right there. Kids face at some point and doesn't even obey. I thought he had stabbed in the eye. That's why it's, it's, they did some makeup to make it look like that. Where is your placard? Dick. So strap in with one of the greatest horror films of all time. <laughs> look at my knife while I stab you. <laughs> to Deborah Hill's razor focused writing and production. To Jamie Lee Curtis's star turn against a brand new horror icon. Just be sure to follow the upcoming sequel's lead and pretend none of the other movies ever happened. No. <laughs> Story. Oh my god. Shape of Slaughter. Lori strode up to the wrong house, that's for sure. Huh? Huh? Right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, jokes are fun. Dr. <laughs> Evil. Casey Affleck. The old man who knows the right. town's dark secret. Charlie Bowen. He got himself a hacksaw, and he kissed his wife and his two children goodbye, and then he proceeded. Where are we? <laughs> the horny friend. The somewhat less horny, but still kind of horny friend. And the mystery creeper in the back seat of this car <laughs> while Michael flies. <laughs> Michael, look out. There's someone else in the back of the car. It's probably Loomis. Adventures in babysitting. You know what the real horror is? Living in a home where your parents only buy you the Kirkland Select knockoff comic books. Laser Man. Neutron Man. I can understand why. Tarantula Man. Worst cinematic universe ever. <laughs> Effervescent. Apple Fritter. Riboflavin. The what? Dang Josh. I want my avocado. Pancreas. I've got the meat sweats. Oh. Landfair for a quit. You know what? Yeah. That's bait. Yeah, I was like, why would you even <laughs> say that? Oh my god. That was that was good. That was very good. Uh we all know Halloween is a classic. And yeah, I, I kinda just watched the the uh the the re or the reboot sequel they done recently it was very good it, it actually it's been a, a very long time since i like i said since i've been scared of michael myers or creepy or felt creeped out watching that movie it made me think about my youth when i was terrified of my like it was a it was, a, it was a, i was i was watching it in my den and it's like a dark area like where the bathroom is and it's kind of like a dark hallway right there and i was sitting on the floor kind of like it's just because i was actually doing setups at the same time while i was watching it and we well, trying to do setups while I, was, while I kept stopping to watch the movie but i kept looking back like at the dark like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, like this, I haven't felt that way in a while watching the movie like i think since i looked at uh uh sleepaway camp like a few years back for the first time and i saw that ending with that that shit was like and she was like <laughs> that the face she made it's like you see that in the dark and it, it's like oh it's creepy even though that was like a young girl or spoilers a boy and and i was like oh, whatever you know as a kid but still that face is oh my and the noise that he was making oh my god but but yeah that movie was i thought that movie was actually really good the 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 one that just came out uh i like the take they did on it like Lori, 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 is it Lori or laura laurie strode uh just pretty much became a survivalist in order to waiting for michael to get out and i've seen reviews of people like oh well did she orchestrate him escaping? But then I was like, well, she was at dinner with her family, so she couldn't have orchestrated it. And then it was like, uh, then I said, well, did the doctor do it? Because the doctor, if you watch that movie, the doctor 
it, he seems like he's kind of crazy. Like if you, even if you look at Loomis, it, Loomis seems like he's crazy, but in the sense that I would do anything to keep this man from getting out. I want him underneath uh, a psych, underneath a padded room, not in a padded room, underneath it. Like <laughs> he seems, he goes above and beyond keeping this man in, but the doctor and the uh the, what do, what do they call these things now like a shrequel or like a sequel prequel or like a, a requel is that what they call a requel uh he seems the doctor in this one seems like he's so fascinated by mike i don't want to give away any spoilers but he seems so fascinated by michael that he kind of wants to see what he does in like general, like in, in just a population, like what, like, well, we are, you already know what he does. Like he kills people, he massacred like a bunch of people 40 years ago. So, I mean, you already know what he does. He's crazy. <laughs> he has no like rhyme or reason. He just does what he does. And for some reason he has some vendetta against Laurie Strode and everybody around her. Why? I don't know. Because in the second movie of, you know, the past movie, the second one to the original, the sequel to the original movie, they had it where she was his, uh, they were brother and sister. And he was like trying to kill his whole family for whatever reason. Now, they've done away with that because, like I said, they did that in the, in the sequel. They established that. But in the original, they never established that. And then in this requel, they said, like, oh, that was a rumor that was made up. That, uh, that they were brother and sister. So now it's like he's just going after this girl because she got away. I mean, you could, I guess you could think like a, how you see serial killers, how they portray it on crime, dramas, whatever, like, they'd be oh, you, the, the, the serial killer stopped killing for a long time for whatever reason. Like, oh, he was in jail, but he was on, in jail for a different crime or he got too old and somebody else picked up the man and then they go after this last person that they got that this person that got away or something and that could be what this is he's even like i gotta get her because she got away and i'm gonna kill everybody else around her even though he was just like in that movie he like michael tore ass through just a neighborhood just killing people like i mean just random people like in the even in the second movie, the sequel to the original, like would they would they added more violence? I think because you know Friday the Thirteenth had come out, and uh, they just like we need to be more violent now because that's what is selling. So they added more violence to the sequel of Halloween, and. Even in that, it seemed like, like he would bypass something. Like it, it was a part where he picked up the knife. The woman was cutting, making a sandwich. He was cutting up like a ham. And he picked up the knife and walked out. But then he went down the street. Or I think it was down the street or the next house over or something like that. And killed this young girl. And I was like, or young woman. I don't know if she's a teenager or grown. But she was home. He just randomly killed her because her door was open. Like he went in and just killed her. Like, <laughs> I was like, did he not kill that? old woman because her husband was in there and he didn't want to kill two people or something because <laughs> like, he, like, he killed her I was like why but they need him they want to add more violence and stuff so they like they kill random people which is kind of scary in on itself when you see a killer and they have no uh, they, they have no pattern they, they just kill whoever like they do they don't just kill black people they don't just kill white people they don't just kill teenagers they don't just kill women they don't just kill men they kill whatever opportunity presents itself they're like well kill this person this, this, this person's alone i'm gonna kill him you know but uh that seems to be very scary because they you have no way to pinpoint who's safe and who's not because they just didn't kill him they'll kill anybody that's where michael is he'll just kill any and, and he has crazy strength. he has that what i call crazy man strength. he does old man strength and this crazy man strength. Crazy man, like when crazy people seem like they're physically stronger than they would be at that weight. And but Michael it seems to be superhuman at the same time. 
because it's like he's it seems like they're trying to play like he's a human but at the same time he's not so I don't know if it's like a supernatural thing anymore or he just a crazy killer who just happened to be very strong as tall strong guy because I mean even if you're tall that don't mean that you're strong or whatever I guess they like it's, it's more intimidating for a movie you know like, oh this guy is superhuman and strong you can't physically beat him in a fight with your bare hand because he's too strong even if whether he knows how to fight or not doesn't matter because he doesn't seem to feel pain that much he did seem to feel a little pain in, in the sequel and in, in, the, in the requel but uh, like he did in the first movie like he felt like pain and uh but uh he gets right back up after a little bit so i don't know if it's a healing factor but you know, it doesn't really matter he, he just a crazed psychopath who has a very high pain tolerance and abnormal strength so he might be all hopped up on meth or some shit all the time i don't know <laughs> But that was pretty good. Let me like, get off it in the six to eight minutes now. Uh, go out, watch the... I'm going to put the link to the video in the description. I should have said that for the previous video that I did. Uh, the Aldo Jones one. I, I didn't even say that. I don't know why, but I will put the link in there if you want to watch it for yourself. Go out to the Honest Trailers channel and uh, subscribe to those guys. They're very good. Very good. Very good at what they do. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.